Hello everybody, this is Anjali on this side and welcome back to my another video. So in today's video, we are going to discuss the NMC guidelines for MBBS abroad or for FMG for medical graduates. And this video is very important for those who are in 2022 or in the years of their MBBS program abroad. So as we all know कि NMC ने 18 नवंबर 2021 को अपनी वेबसाइट पर एक गैजेट डाला था which had point number four grant of permanent registration to foreign medical graduates and इस point की वजह से at this point almost all the FMGs are now annoyed because everybody's career is at stake and this point is for those people जिन्होंने अपनी medical forensic की है and India में उन्हें अपना license चाहिए that is the permanent registration to a foreign medical graduate Let's start with point number A, which says undergone a course leading to foreign medical degree with a minimum duration of 54 months. So 54 months are equivalent to 4.5 years, जितने की MBBS India में होती है. So our NMC expects कि हमारा वहाँ भी course 4.5 years, that is 54 months का हो, excluding internship. A ka second point is undergone an internship for a minimum duration of 12 months in same medical institution. So just say you have done your medical puri kari hai, usi se you have to do internship karni hai. It can't be an exchange program or anything ki yaha se ab you have done medical kari hai, apne MBBS kari hai aur uske baad internship tum kahi aur ja ke karo. It has to be the same foreign medical institution and it is going to be for one year minimum. A ka third point which says received a foreign medical degree with medium of instruction in English. So, वहाँ की degree जो होगी वो तुम्हार को English में पढ़नी चाहिए. That it has to be in English and no like none of that native languages. A ka fourth point which says study the mandatory subjects specified in the schedule one. So, in MC की website पे आपको एक schedule one मिल जाएगा. Otherwise, I'll put the link in the description below. So, in this case, you need to compulsorily like study those subjects in your in your whichever medical institution you're going to be in, you're going to study in. So, those are the subjects you need to study. That's all. So, finally, we are for B per and this particular point is that I don't know how many YouTube videos have been because it wasn't clear till date, but now because there are so many YouTube videos on it. Um, I have completely understood it and according to which the person shall be registered with the respective professional regulatory body or otherwise or otherwise competent to grant license to practice medicine in the respective jurisdiction of the country in which the medical degree is awarded and at par with the license to practice medicine given to the citizen of that country. Like I know, काफी लंबा और boring सा point है और इसको पढ़ने में बहुत लोगों को काफी दिक्कत हो रही है। Even me, even I had a lot of issues understanding this particular 4B point. But it doesn't say anywhere that you have to take a license from the particular country. It just says that your medical degree or MBBS degree has to be registered with the respective professional regulatory body of that country जैसे India की एक regulatory body NMC है उसी तरह हर country की कोई regulatory body होती है जो कि ये सारे decisions लेती है और सब करती है right तो आपको बस अपनी degree वहाँ register करवानी है for it it means कि अगर तुम उस country में जा रहे हो और उन लोग अगर उन लोगों को अपनी दी हुई degree पे believe नहीं है कि वो तुम्हार को degree दे रहे हैं but like मतलब registration नहीं दे रहे हैं तो फिर इंडिया कैसे ट्रस्ट कर लेगी जो तुम पढ़कर आए हो वो सही है। I know it's a very weak point and it's totally useless but okay as an MC say we just have to follow it। But anyway you don't have to you don't need to take any license you just need to get your degree registered with the professional regulatory body of the respective country। So let's discuss 4C which says undergone supervised internship in India for a minimum 
टर्म ऑफ ट्वेल्व मंथ्स आफ्टर अप्लाइंग फॉर द सेम टू द कमीशन सो तुमने वहाँ पे साढ़े चार साल की मिनिमम एम करी फिर वहाँ एक साल की मिनिमम इंटर्नशिप उसी कंट्री से उसी कॉलेज से करी नाउ यू हैव टू डू एक साल की इंटर्नशिप इंडिया आके भी दैट्स फॉर इट पॉइंट से कि तुम्हारी एम डिग्री बेसिकली साढ़े छः से सात साल की बन जाएगी लंबी चौड़ी एकदम It doesn't say anything else. Now let's come on to point number four D, which says that the person should have cleared the next exam, national exit test, or such other mandated test or test conducted by the commission. इसमें कुछ समझाने की जरूरत नहीं है. You just have to crack next exam. I guess I have told you almost everything about this NMC gazette. This point number four, which is like, which is granting the permission to practice your license in India as a foreign medical graduate. So that was all about it, and I hope you found the video helpful. And if you found it helpful, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And also go watch my previous video if you wanted to, um, um, you know, know more about admission in uh, Mauritius or anything like that. And uh, my Instagram ID is given below if you have any doubts. Many people have already asked me certain questions. And apni tarif khud kar rahi hu, but yeah, they found me helpful. So bye bye. That was all for today. I'm gonna meet you again. Bye.